What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm up to 114 subscribers, so I'm absolutely made up with that. And I've ju just basically just found a couple of little pieces of mad scrap bits of foam that I've had because I said that I had no more to do another diorama. And I've just about salvaged enough to make an another diorama. So I'll give you a quick look now with all the pieces I've got. And then I'm going to try and put something together. So basically, there's the first one that I've done, or two weeks ago. And there's the second, and this is the one that I done last night. Just needs to wait for them things to dry, which I'll go and check out on them now. And then obviously, I've got this one here, which is going to be probably the biggest one because it, there's loads of little scrap pieces. But I just need to take that little bit off there, so that'll be flush. And then that, that's another one, so I'm going to crack on with this now, just sketch a few things on it, and I'll show you where I'm up to. My daughter just did me recording a video and just came and gave me this little flowery box. So she wants me to use this, so I'm going to have to some or so, somehow incorporate this into it. So the only thing I'm thinking of is possibly <clears throat> make a little doorway here for them. And maybe have a little shutter roof coming down, or like a tin foil corrugated roof there, and a window on the side. And it gives a little bit more depth as well, so nice one pop. So I'm going to see what I can do with this now and I'll show you what I've done. That's what I'm up to anyway, and then basically, <coughs> once the only reason I never finished all them lines for them bricks there is because you're not going to see the back of that once that goes in there. Just have that to there, you're pretty much not going to see it anyway. That's going to be a little doorway, so that's where I'm up to. And we stick a six inch figure, seven inch figure, that's a seven inch figure, so it is quite a good size. Considering it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's going to be nine pieces to completely fill it all. So this will have a back wall and two side walls and a base. So I'm just going to go out and spray it now and then I'm going to crack on making the doors. Make a door a window, I don't know if it's going to have a slanted corrugated roof coming down or just, or just have it flat. I'm not too sure, I'll just freestyle that in a minute. So this is where I'm up to. Just painted was sprayed because it stops it warping. I've noticed that if you use acrylic paint, a water-based acrylic paint, it makes these warp really bad. But if you use a spray paint, I know it looks a little bit shiny, but I've been testing between that one and that one, and the further I keep it away, the less shiny it goes. So it's not as much as a gloss. But I've done that. And then I've also got that to go in it, but then this part here is gonna be like that, so that's how it's gonna be. So I'm going to take it upstairs now, I still need to carve some flagstones into here and then get the base for this one done. But I'm just getting this done now, I've, I've ran out of a, a little bit of this, the grey paint to stick a bit of the wooden trim around here. But that's where I'm up to anyway, I'm going to go and put it in the, in the desk off now and I'll show you what it looks like. And there's the wooden trim. So obviously once that goes on there, and then it's going to have another little piece on top like that, it's going to look a lot better that's another little upgrade just making sure it all fits in and it's all fitting in snug and tight as you can see just making sure it all fits in and basically it all does it's probably the tightest one I've done now for the cuts considering that's like three pieces like a side piece that and that it's all been cut in and that's like two pe three pieces well, in all, it's like six pieces of the foam, all little pieces like that, to get it to that. And then also what I've done is, just need to stick a little door onto it. But once that'll go into there, like this, and then I've got a bit of this trim. You can see, the trim is going to go along there. And then on the side, I'll have another little roof part on it there. I just need to do the base. But... Definitely looking a hell of a lot better this one now. Just totally different from the brown, blue, green and red one. So this is the finished outcome. Don't think I'm gonna wear with this one maybe. I, I don't know, I might do it in a future future project, but I'm happy with this up to now. All I need to do, obviously this isn't glued on 
need to st stick this on glue it on and then i need to just use the hello poppy hi. say hi hi <laughs> just need to put this trim on today and then the that'll go around there what the yeah so there's that up to now anyway and then there's the floor that i just made just need to go over that with black marker but just making sure it all fits in pretty happy with that up to now anyway if anyone can think of anything that I can change on it or make it any better, comment, let me know. Always into trying new things and seeing if I can make my skills any better. And here's a quick look at all four of them. So I can fill one death off now. So there it is, pretty much finished. <coughs> um, <coughs> pardon me. The only thing I've got to do is literally wait for stickers to come from eBay so I can get my own sticker printer to put like little electrical signs and all stuff like that on it. But um, quite happy with the, the joins on that, which came a, a little bit too short on either side, but I can hide that with um, a little bit of this foam stuff which I'm going to be using, which I'm also going to be using this blue foam to go on top of here but it's going to be cut out and we'll come up to the edge of the trim and then i'll stick more trim on top of it so i'll just give it a little bit more depth and it'll take it up to mm, don't know whether it's, yeah i can always raise them drain pipes so that's what i'm up to with that anyway so as you can see i'll just give you a quick better look at it now and there we have it there's one of the custom figures that I bought a couple of years ago and we've got the grey trim going all the way around got a little electric box a little skinny straw a couple of different sized straws got a couple more going up here and then here's just all the figures all the AIM soldiers some of my favourite Marvel Legends are the AIM and the Hydra so what we'll be doing a whole aim display and a whole hydro display and then i'll be doing a load of the shield agents and then yeah so that's what i'm up to with that there this time i tried to do like a gray pavement type of flooring instead of doing a plain gray one and the other two were like car parks so that's what i'm up to with them i'm also happy with how the shutter came out and you can see also with the, the case to go around it um yeah i think this box probably weren't the best thing to use it's a little bit shiny it hasn't got really got no no detail into it or no texture or nothing like that it's a little bit shiny it was only a little cardboard shoe box as you've seen before but i possibly could have scored it or used something to make it a little bit better as you can see there it still still does the job for a little bit of displaying but it's definitely going to be building something on top of here but you're probably not going to see this but i can always hire that and always move the pipes the pipes aren't really a problem so we probably will go through with that let me just check to see if you can see the other see so you won't even see this piping either so I'll probably have to use something a little bit thinner than that that's one inch foam i'll probably use half inch foam for it maybe um, i'll just have a little freestyle and see what i can come up with a little better angle for you to see it all without me holding it keep the camera a little bit more steady so you can see I've got a couple more Hydra soldiers up there and a couple more AIM to display in there but that's where I'm up to with that till those stickers come <clears throat> can't really do nothing don't really want to paint any more yellow triangles on them like hazard signs myself I haven't really got a steady enough hand to, to do it basically I've already ordered a couple of stickers they're only a couple of quid so as soon as they come I can put like electrical boxes and then I just keep saying and um, like has it signs got a couple of little cctv camera stickers to come and then yeah i'll be sorted with that just need to learn to make a couple of different doors instead of using these shutter doors all the time just make some panel doors should be easier a bit of bolster but it's pretty hard to get stuff all this stuff is just literally scraps of what i've had lying around so i think that's where i'm up to gonna call it a night I'm going to bed now 
So if you're watching this, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, the like button, share, do us a favour, see you in the next video, take care.